How do you? My name is Anna. Welcome. I'm so glad you're here. Let's talk about makeup. Um, what's new? What's good? What's newish? What's good? I I can't keep track of of things. I I can't be up to date. I can't be trendy. I don't know. It's like it goes against everything in me for some reason, and it's not intentional. I just I don't know. I I've never I've never cared to keep up. I guess I don't think. Anyways, it's just impossible. I just, I, I fail. I can't do it. Um, I'm going to not talk about that anymore. And I'm going to talk about um, these makeup, makeup-y things uh, that have been on my mind. Um, I'm going to start with the one that I'm the most excited about. Um, this Adept and Amy Loves Makeup um, collab. I am so excited for this. Like this looks so pretty, both the eyeshadow palette and the blush set. I really like Amy Loves Makeup. I like her YouTube. I've been watching her for years now and I just, I like her vibe. She's so real. Um, and just seems so just real and really sweet. Like, I don't know. I just, and good vibes, good vibes all around. And I, I really like this color story. I like how it's neutral, but blue. I think that's, and you know, it's cool tone, but it's not the like gray cool tones. They're browns, right? Like, I don't know. I think this is going to be super flattering. I'm really excited for it. Um, and I've talked about how I like Adept Cosmetics, um, and they kind of do there's like a certain niche that I feel like they fit into really well that's different from a lot of things that I'm into. Anyways, I'm super excited about this. This launches, okay, Wednesday at 9 a.m. Mountain Time. So that's 8 a.m. Pacific Time, 11 a.m. Eastern Time. Central Time would be the other one I didn't say that's right in there. 11. <laughs> no, 10. So, 8 Pacific, 9 Mountain, 10 Central, 11 Eastern. That was very thorough. You're welcome. I, I don't know. I'm very excited about this launch um, and also feeling a little silly. So, um, there's that one. That one, I, I'm actually going to pick that up. I've been really trying not to buy makeup, but this one I just decided kind of the second that I saw it that I was going to pick it up. There's a bundle um, that you can get. I think the palette is $69 by itself, the eyeshadow palette, and the blush palette is $34, and the bundle is $90 together. Um, if you do them individually, you can use a code. And my thoughts are that probably if you use the code, some of the um, money from the sale goes to whichever creator you use their code, um, even though it's a little bit more expensive. I don't know, maybe maybe you want to do that, um, but I think it is the cheapest if you do the bundle of the two together. But if you just want to get one, yeah, you could use a code to get, I think it's like most people have like 10% off, something like that. Anyways, I'm excited about that one. Definitely picking that up. Um, let's see. There were some things that I put, oh yeah. Okay. The Natasha Denona foundation, the hyper, hyper, what are all the words in the title of that? And it looks like it's only available, um, at Natasha Denona's website and, uh, Ulta. I haven't seen it on Sephora. So it's interesting to me. I feel like Ulta is getting a lot of what used to be Sephora's business. Like it seems like Natasha Denona is really going toward Ulta and it's like weird. It's like, I just kind of intuitively get that. I don't know why. Um, it feels like tea, but I, I mean, whatever. Um, it's not really my, my game. Okay. Yeah. Okay. High glam, high glam, not hyper high glam powder foundation. So, um, I, I'm really curious about this. I can't decide what shade to get. And I don't know if I'd like a powder foundation. I don't really like foundation. I, I usually use concealer just on like certain redness on my face and stuff just to even it out, um, to move everything out. But like, I don't know if maybe, maybe I would like a powder foundation. Cause it's like, 
I think what I don't like is the feel of foundation and it looks like it gets into my, you know, lines and stuff. I don't know. I'm so curious about this and it's Natasha Denona. Um, and it says it's talc free. That's like a new thing. A lot of things have been talc free lately and I guess that's a good thing. So anyways, I'm not sure if I'm going to pick this one up. I, I feel like maybe eventually like at a sale, maybe, maybe during, um, Black Friday or something, or maybe I'll just never get it because I didn't get it at launch. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to switch sides. I feel like the light is so much better over here. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Plus I can kind of see what I'm doing better. Um, I have a janky just mirror for my monitor. Anyways, um, okay, next thing that I have here that seems to have come out recently is the Fenty. Fenty has a new foundation. It seems like there have been a lot of foundations coming out that I've actually been kind of interested in uh, with brands that I'm familiar with. So... Um, the Fenty foundation, I think I heard is supposed to be a little bit more, um, a little better for hydration, a little bit more hydrating. So I don't know, maybe, maybe that is the case. I feel like that might look well for me. I don't think I'm going to pick this one up. I'm not, I'm not a hundred percent on that, but like, so yeah, soft lit, naturally luminous long wear foundation. I don't think I'm going to pick that one up. Um, but I've seen things about how the old one was kind of drying and that this one is supposed to be better. So I don't know. I have liked Fenty stuff in the past. I'm trying to think. I feel like I couldn't find a good shade match um many years ago when she first launched a foundation which was kind of crazy because there were so many shades like the shade range and undertones were so good um and yet I felt like I couldn't find a good match so I don't know but again I'm not really a foundation girl there's all these foundations okay except that this next one this urban decay and I feel like this kind of came out of nowhere is it just me I mean, I'm not in the loop. That's the thing. Um, I can't predict these things. So um, here it is. The Urban Decay Face Bond Self-Setting Waterproof Foundation. I don't know. The fact that it's waterproof makes me think it's not going to look very good. I loved the, I think it was called Stay Naked Foundation uh, that came out in 2019, I think. I loved that foundation. Like that looked really nice. Um, so it makes me a little bit more curious about this. Not that, not that brands will traditionally have like a good foundation and then it's like their next foundation is good and their next, I feel like it sort of goes back and forth, right? Um, sometimes they win, sometimes they don't, depending on the brand. I mean, some like hit it out of the park every time or most of the time. Anyways, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to try this one. I don't know if I need a waterproof foundation. <laughs> like I'm not a particularly sweaty person. And if I'm doing something that's in the water, like I'm not going to have makeup on probably like almost guaranteed. I'm not going to have makeup on except for when I did the witch paddle, but that's in October. And I don't think I want to be in the water for that. So anyway, um, are you picking this up? All these foundations. Okay. Uh, what else do I have? have here um mm -hmm. okay this is sort of interesting to me and I don't know how new it is this is a super goop um daily SPF tint SPF 50 so it's a skin tint that's SPF 50 I'm so I saw this was like a Wayne Goss video from years ago where he put on like the amount of foundation that you would need to actually have the SPF in it do anything. And it was ridiculous. I mean, that was the whole point, but it was just like so thick. And so like, I'm wary, I'm wary of this. I feel like you could put this on over a regular sunscreen. And then maybe it's like you get a little extra protection, but I don't know about that. Um, this is all kind of random. I. 
I didn't make a list. I just kind of have random things on my phone in various places. And I was like, oh, but now, and I was, at first I was like, oh, I'm interested. And then I was like, no, I don't think, I don't think this is a good idea because of what I just said. I think it's not going to be, but man, SPF 50. What sunscreen do you use? I cannot find a face sunscreen that I like. I need something fragrance free. Um, that doesn't feel gross. Anyone? I've heard Korean that skincare is the way to go, but like which one? Cause I don't, I'm not familiar. Anyway, moving on. Okay. Um, I'm going to go to Instagram now, um, and look and see what I've saved. Okay. It looks like these just came out. These about face beauty holographic eye paints. Um, they look super pretty, but like, I don't know how holographic they look. Like, I feel like the swatches on this video, which I don't think I can show you the video. I think I'll just have photos, but they just don't, like, they don't look that exciting. They look cute in the tube. Also, do you use liquid eyeshadows? I can't, I've never really gotten into them. I don't know about these. I think they look really pretty and I like the packaging, like it would make a cute display. But other than that, I don't think I'm into these. So it looks like Lancome came out with new highlighters and bronzers, but I don't know if these are just new shades or if they're actually like a new formula. I tend to like Lancome stuff. I feel like they've, you know, they've been around forever. Like this is back in the day, one of the brands that I could get. Like, I feel like there's so much more makeup out there now. You know, 25 years ago, you had like, Lancome, Estee Lauder, and like Clinique, you know, at the mall. And then at the drugstore, it was like Maybelline, CoverGirl, like Wet n Wild, I think was around back then. Anyways, I don't know. I just feel like there's so much more to choose from. Um, and so I forget about Lancome, but they've had really good stuff in the past that I've really liked. And I like their mascara and I like their foundation too and their concealer. So I don't know. These look kind of pretty. I don't think I'm going to get one, but they look kind of pretty. Lots of different shades. Oh, right. Sigma Beauty um, has this cool neutrals palette. And I follow a lot of people who went to the Creators and Friends event thing in Louisiana recently. And so, you know, like everyone on my feed has been talking about this um, cool neutrals. And I've never tried a Sigma eyeshadow palette. This one looks really pretty, but I don't, I don't think I need it. It does look really beautiful though. Um, anyways, it says it's out 5-2, so Thursday, but I feel like I've also seen people saying that this was available. So I don't know if that was like a sneak peek, like preview thing or like a, I don't know. Um, do you like Sigma? Let me know if you like Sigma Beauty, if you've used it. I. I, I have some makeup drying tools or brush drying tools, like a little stand that you like stick the brushes to, um, which are pretty cool actually. Um, I, I like them. I think they're super helpful. And I have like a like cleaning pad thing. Like all my Sigma stuff is like brush cleaning things. I don't have any Sigma brushes. I don't have any Sigma um, makeup like nothing. So I don't know. It's never really appealed to me for some reason. Uh, but maybe it's good. Okay. Why do I want these? I don't even know. This looks like, and I'm looking at trend mood. No, this is something totally different. Never mind. Um, this just came across my feed and I really like this packaging for some reason. I don't think I'm going to buy this. I don't think I'm going to chance it. Cause like, who knows? I've never heard of this brand, but she Della? I don't know what this is, but I really like this packaging. I think it's really cool. Anyway, I am a sucker for packaging, but I'm not going to buy that. Maybe. So I'm not sure if my makeup regrets video is up yet or not. Uh, if not, it's coming soon or it's already up. And basically, um, I talked about how I had gotten, I'd heard so many good things about Hourglass and 
I got one of the face palettes because I was I had heard just amazing things about their face powders. Like I feel like a lot of people just raved about them. Um, and I got one. It was so expensive and I didn't like it. It didn't work for me. Um, I gave it to my mom and she really liked it. So that's great. But like, I feel like I have to try again and they're launching two new face palettes. I think they do every year or I don't know. I don't know what the the schedule is on that, but <laughs> I kind of want to try it. I don't think I'm going to buy this because it's so expensive, but I really want to try it. I don't know. I don't. Do you like Hourglass? Leave, leave it in the comments. Okay, here's another. What is up with these, like, what is up with this packaging? I love this packaging. I am guessing this makeup is not great. I don't know why I have that instinct. Maybe because I've just never heard of this, but like, why does this look so pretty to me? Color Rose. This kind of has like white label written all over it to me. I I didn't do any research on this. I don't know. I'm just saying like my instinct, like my little spidey sense about it. Because this is the same as the last one that I saw. And what is Sea Beauty Mall? I feel like I feel like this has gotten weird. Okay, what is this? Benefit tints. These look cute. Okay, the packaging's a little silly, but um Splash tint and plush tint moisturizing lip tints that leave lips dewy or matte. So if it's a tint, does that mean that it stays? Is it like a stain? It doesn't say it's a stain. So I'm not sure what this is. I don't think I'm going to be buying this. But I'll admit I'm a bit curious about it. Oh, I guess there's, there's one more thing that I wanted to mention. So is it Kiko Milani? It's a brand that I've never heard of before, but, or that I've never used before, but I think, yeah, they're doing, they're doing a collab with Bridgerton 3, the third season, which what I want to know is why Pat McGrath's not doing it, because that was the only thing that even got me into Bridgerton in the first place. Like, I'm not, I love the costumes. Like, I love the sets and the costumes and that whole thing. Um, that got me into it. I mean, it was Pat McGrath that got me into it because it was like, oh, Pat McGrath, who I'm very into is doing this collab with Bridgerton. And I was like, well, what is Bridgerton? So I checked it out. I did end up watching it, uh, while my husband was out of town. And like, like I said, I liked the costumes and the sets and all of that. Um, I was kind of eye rolly about the rest of it, but anyway, that's not the point. Um, there's a third season now and why isn't Pat McGrath doing it? Sounds like more tea. Maybe she just didn't want to. I don't know. Um, it's a, probably a good thing because I probably would buy it if it was Pat McGrath, but I don't think I'm gonna buy these. Although that looks really pretty. Hmm. I mean, just the packaging. I don't know, it looks kind of pretty. I'm gonna ask the same question. Well, sort of, do you like Keiko Milani? <laughs> Is it good stuff? Like how much does it cost? Let's see. What are we looking at? Bridgerton collection. $19.99, 25 dollars 25 dollars Mmm, it's like, yeah, high-end prices. Okay, yeah, these are expensive. $30 for a blush and highlight, and these are in euros, so it's actually gonna be more in USD, so. Okay, I don't know. Interesting. Okay, well, I guess that's my video for today. I feel like it was very random. I don't know how to do these, but I want to. I don't know. It seems like there are like a million things that I'm so excited about in the makeup world and that I want, you know? But then when I actually get down to like filming about it, I'm like, no, there are like one or two things that I want. Anyways, um, definitely wanted to put the word out there about this Adept collab in case you haven't seen it. I'm excited about it. Um, Hope you're having a great week and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Keep on the sunny side, always on the sunny side. Keep on the sunny side alive. It will help us every day. It will brighten all the way if we keep on the sunny side.
Satellite.